taking you into custody. I think I can smooth talk my way past them. Don't expect any manners out of me. Our basic goal going in was to figure out how we wanted to use dialogue to tell the story, keep it very tense, and yet at the same time have the, you know immense production value, great looking characters, and awesome VO. And so all of those top level goals are what we sort of put in the mixing bowl and, and, and moved around. And the dialogue stance system is what came out of it. There's some things I'd like to find out before you stop breathing. Shout me. Dialogue stance system, or DSS, is a very fancy way of saying you have choices and that the choices are going to dictate the way the game goes for you. If you go through the dialogue stance system, and decide to extort somebody, and another player decides to execute them, there are totally different options that come up. Why are you wasting my time? Drinking alone is time well spent then. We provide different options, so it's a little bit of choose your own adventure. Why are you wasting my time? So say there's a character that um, allows for you to be more businesslike. You know, if you come into that conversation and you are uh, being suave, coy, or annoying, you're going to get a lot of different options from them. They're probably not going to give you the information that you wanted, but you may get other things. So what's the code? Tell them that the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. The player actually has the option to be the dick or be the hero, be completely in the gray. Um, he can be a chauvinist, he can be a misogynist, he can be a ladies' man. I think my gun is working just fine. Not according to the test we ran while you were under. You're going to hit the same maps, you're going to hit the same levels, but the way uh, characters respond to you and how badly you're going to get hurt and how easy it's going to be for you to get access to certain areas so you can progress through the game is entirely dependent on the way you treat different people. We work together, we both get what we want. In a film, people play off of each other in a realistic and uh, very timing sensitive uh, type realistic conversation. So essentially you only have a certain amount of time to respond but it gives a much more cinematic feel. You're not waiting for somebody to respond. If your objective is to reach the train then we can help each other out. After that, I can't make any promises. Nor can I. Alpha Protocol has, a, has, has quite, a, quite a large amount of dialogue. Not as much as some of our games like Planescape Torment uh, or even Neverwinter Nights 2 but there are a ton of uh, characters that you talk to. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. There's a cast of characters that are about uh, 30 sort of named characters that you encounter, uh, along with a lot of uh, B players and C players. Can I help you? Or are you going to stand there and insult my shop all day? I initially thought it would be much more of a challenge, but once we actually got in the studio and uh, the main, the, the voice actor who plays Michael Thornton, uh, he picked it up within one dialogue. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. It's all about testing the environment and seeing if the environment bites back. So Alpha Protocol should provide the same sort of experience for the player where it just might bite back. <laughs>